Hey everybody, Benny P here with Lovely Lake Fly Fishing and today I'm going to do a fly tying tutorial on one of our fast water series jig flies, our variation of a natural torch. Got the hook in the vise and the bead on the hook. Let's go ahead and run you over the materials list for this little fly. The materials list for this little fly is number one, a Lovely Lakes 320J hook and for the video we're using the size 14. The bead you see in the vise right now on that hook is a Lively Legs 3.3 millimeter slotted tungsten bead. We're going with the 3.3 millimeter bead on a size 14 which is oversized because the idea is to fish this little fly in extremely fast water and pocket water and get it down to the fish fast. Number 3, 0.015 lead wire. Number 4, glow bright fluorescent orange floss. Number 5, small silver wire. Number six, Nature Spirit, Snowshoe Rabbit Foot Dubbing, and number 48, Hare's Ears. And number seven, our last material is Hairlines, Ice Dub, and Rusty Brown. Take into consideration, you can change the hook size, you can change the bead size, you can change the colors, you can do it in any variation you'd like to match what you would like or what the fish like on your local waters. Alright, let's get started and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our lead wire, 0 0.015, and we're going to wrap seven wraps behind our bead. This lead wire, just give me one second here, I'll wrap that seven times and you can see I have lead wire off each side and then I'll take my thumbnail against that lead wire right at the shank of the hook and I'll break it off on both sides and that's what I just did. Now this lead wire taken into consideration adds more than just weight to this fly. Also with these jig flies we're using an oversized bead. That bead tends to want to jump out so we take that lead wire there's a slot on this side there's a big opening and we push that lead wire right into that slot and hold that bead right into place. You see how nice that worked? Our next step, instead of using thread, we're going to use the glow bright floss and that's what we're going to use as our thread on this fly and you'll see later in the video why we do that and I have a long tag end that I'm going to keep out here so pull approximately five inches out of your bobbin and go right behind your lead wraps and what you're doing is you're locking those lead wraps into place Keep that tag in, don't cut that away, just put that off to the side. You're locking those lead wraps into place and come up over the top and you're locking that bead into place. Build a nice body, cover up that lead, lock everything into place. And as you build that body, you want the carrot shape. Slowly work your way back to the bend in the hook and back up and build a nice carrot shaped body. And there we go. Let's take a quick look. You have a nice carrot shaped body. Pointy end, thick end, thick end going towards the bead. That puts a nice body on this fly. Okay, take your thread and come back to the end of the fly. And this is where this extra long tag is going to come into place. What you're using this extra long tag for, we don't put a tail on this fly, we just put a little hot spot tag on it. And you're going to use that extra long tag piece that we left out there, and I'm going to show you how to double it over and create a nice little tag tail, a hot spot on this fly. So first you want to take your fingers and create a loop. Right at the end of the fly, tie that first loop down with a couple wraps. And you can see we have one loop right there. And then because I left this tag long enough, we're going to create another loop. This loop, the second loop, does not have to be the same size as the first loop. You just want it long enough so you can create a tag off it because you're going to cut both of those loops. So the same thing, you want to create another loop and tie that loop down. You can see I got it tied down. 
make sure it's tied down good and work my way towards the front a little bit. And now your tie again, the end that you don't need now, is facing the front of the fly. Go ahead and cut that piece off. You got that piece cut off. And now your loop ends. You can see at the end of your hook right here, right at the end of the curve of your hook. I like to come straight up off that end and create myself a nice little hot spot tag on that fly. Okay, our next step is going to be tying in our small silver wire. We're using the UTC small silver wire for this fly. And a little trick I'm teaching you right here is if you don't know this trick, if you're new to tying, you want that wire rib facing down and towards the front of the fly, towards the uh, eye of the hook. You want to put that right against the back of your fly, take one wrap over it, and you can see it's locked into place. Now slowly pull backwards on that to take away some of that extra wire ribbing that you have out the front, and then you can tie it down, go towards the front, tie it down, go to the back, tie it down clear to your little tie again, and a couple wraps forward, and we're ready for our next step, which is our dove body. With our dove body, I'm going to take a little bit of wax dubbing, and you won't need to put this on thick. Keep that in mind. When you're tying flies like this, you've already built the taper for the body. So just put this on very thin. It's not going to take a lot. couple wraps towards the back so we can start and just slowly work your way towards the front of the fly and you'll get a nice tapered body take a look there's a beautiful tapered body and we're ready for the next step which is we're going to counter wrap so we went over the top to wrap our body now we're going to come underneath and we're going to counter wrap for a ribbing Take our wire, start our counter wrap, wrap it straight up to the bead, I'll wrap a couple times around where the bead is, and then I'll lock it into place with our glow bright floss. Get this little bugger out of there, there we go. And there you can see. Now the, on this next step, when we're going to, I guess it's not a step, but we just need to finish off this wire rib. You have two options here. You can take your fingers and you can pinch it. If you're new to tying, keep this in mind. And you can just do what we call a helicopter. Go over and over and over. And it can you can snap that off. Or you can take your tying scissors and you can come back, way back in here on your scissors. You don't want to use the points because you don't want to doll up your tying scissors. And you can snip that off. We'll go ahead and do that and then just push that little tag in down and just a couple more wraps and that'll lock it into place really nicely and all right we're we are ready we are ready for the ice dub rusty brown and all that is is right behind the bead it's just a little hot spot if you like this fluorescent orange on here as your hot spot whip finish it now i mean that's still a beautiful little fly for the video purposes and for what we tie and what we have available at LivelyLegs.com, we're going to put on a small pinch of the Ice Dub and Rusty Brown. And when I say small pinch, you're going to see a small pinch. Spread that out on there. It does not take a lot. Just one small pinch will do it. And there it is. Go ahead and whip finish that fly down. I'm gonna do a three turn whip finish. That's all it's gonna take. Right behind that bead, two, three. These Loon Ergo whip finisher tools, they have a nice little addition to the opposite end of your whip finisher have a little cutting tool. We'll just take our cutting tool right up against that and cut off that floss. And there you have it. There is a Lively Legs Fast Water Series Jig Fly, our variation of a natural torch.
Thanks for watching another Lively Legs fly tying tutorial video. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you like our channel, make sure you subscribe. If you like notifications, hit the bell icon. And until next time, best of luck at the vise and on the water.